What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing an update on NEO ticker. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with the fundamental news that might drive for the price of this company. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next. And before we get into all of that, if you guys would like to earn two free stocks with Mumu valued up to $7,000, please check out that link in the description below. All you have to do is sign up for an account and deposit as little as $1. This is guaranteed free money. Full details you can see on the screen right now. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here at this point uh, and I've told you that uh, we had this uh, massive movement to the downside and we broke uh, the support right here that we had from the mid of uh, December till mid of January and we broke it to the downside and uh, I've told you that uh, right here with this movement with this sideways movement we started to form as you can see on our side we started to form this bearish channel and I've told you that uh, these channels usually break uh, to the downside and with this breakout we will see lower price actions and as you can see it happened exactly as I predicted and uh, right here if you follow my channel for quite some time you know that uh, we had this uh, higher lows on our side with the lower lows on the price action and it is a bullish divergence and this divergence shows that we might have a trend reversal and it happened and uh, from its lowest point of uh, 19.39 dollars to its current uh, price it surged up for more than 27 percent incredible bounce to the upside and i have to say that potentially it is just the beginning but we have to have more confirmation and i will show you what should we expect from the price action in just several minutes and for now let's continue with the news so first of all let's start with this one on january 31st we have this article that is titled tesla lordstown motors and sono group lead electric vehicle sector higher and let me quote you this electric vehicle stocks uh, moved higher in early trading as investors dipped back uh, into the sector after the sharp 2022 sell-off tesla is showing an early gain of 5.55 uh, percent after attracting an upgrade from credit suisse crucially analysts dan levy and team think that strong margins from the ev juggernaut are sustainable along with volume growth and uh, definitely tesla is the leader on the ev market right now and if the leader moves higher, everything on this market moves higher as well. And the other big movers are following. Here is the list uh, and uh, among this list we can find the NEO and it has uh, about 9.5% gains only on January 31st. So, and let me show you another news and another anticipation of good news i have to say and uh, right here we can see that on uh, february the 1st basically today we will see their monthly delivery update so chinese electric vehicle makers neo xpeng and li auto are lined up to post their monthly deliveries update the stocks have seen heavily selling pressure over the last few weeks morgan stanley warns that the general numbers could be soft due to a normal slowdown in activity ahead of the Chinese New Year and COVID restrictions impacting part of the supply chain. And uh, with this anticipation, we also potentially have uh, this uh, movement to the upside because uh, all in all, NIO is increasing its uh, production rates quarter over quarter and year over year. And definitely with this increase in their production rates, they improve their fundamentals and this reflects on the price of uh, their stocks and guys don't get me wrong we won't see a huge spike uh, from this very range if we will see amazing numbers of their deliveries also i don't think that we might uh, fall sharply to the downside with the weak numbers we have uh, to hover for quite some time around these levels and this will give us uh, more technical points where we might enter the position so let me show you another news it is published on cnvpost.com and uh, it says NEO completes repurchase rights offer for its convertible senior notes due 2024 and the subtitle is none of the note holders have exercised their repurchase rights and no notes have been surrendered for repurchase according to a statement from NEO 
And what does it mean for the company? Is it good or bad for the company? And let me show you the official document. Uh, we are on the official NEO website and it is uh, the SEC filing that uh, describes the situation. And let me show you this. Uh, the purchase price of uh, the 4.5% convertible senior notes due to 2024, as described herein, is uh, 1,000 US dollars per 1,000 US dollars principal amount outstanding. As of January 28, 2022, there was uh, around uh, 163.79 million dollars aggregate principal amount of notes outstanding. In other words, several institutional investors invested in NEO with convertible notes and uh, the main idea of these convertible notes that uh, they have two options first of all they might be repurchased with 4.5% uh, of interest rate or these notes might be converted to the shares of the company and uh, let me show you this information we are on uh, the document itself and it says an initial conversion rate is 1.5 ADSs per $1,000 principal amount of notes. This means the note holders, if they convert these notes into the shares, they will have 105 shares for each $1,000 invested. This means at the current price of NEO stocks, they will have $2,573 instead of $1,000 invested. This means more than 2.5 times returns on their initial investment. And uh, definitely none of the note holders have exercised uh, their repurchased rights. So, and let me show you this article. Uh, we are on cnvpast.com and uh, this article was published on uh, January 29th and it says NEO gears up for Denmark entry as it joins local car importers association. And the subtitle is NEO has become a member of the Danish Car Importers Association. The first move we are seeing from the company in the country. And it is only one country in the European Union. And let me show you another news related to their expansion in Europe. On electricvehicles.com website we have this article and it says exclusive NEO partners with Piper Medox, the global renewable energy recruitment specialists. And let me quote you this. The Chinese EV maker NEO and the global renewable energy recruitment specialist Piper Medox announced a new partnership towards uh, the European expansion confirmed by the automaker for this year. The recruitment company has already available 22 jobs vacancies in the markets uh, aimed uh, by NEO – Germany, Denmark, Sweden and Netherlands. And on top of this, let me show you this article. NEO starts hiring for Hungary pointing to a new European market. And on top of these markets, they started to hire new specialists uh, in Budapest. And uh, definitely NEO's expansion policy in Europe is quite aggressive. And uh, definitely in a matter of uh, several months and uh, in upcoming year, we will have uh, amazing results uh, of this expansion. So. And let's continue with the technical analysis, but before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, as usual, we have two options. For those of you who want to have uh, a swing trade position, this movement to the upside shows the first sign that uh, this asset might be bullish. And what should you do if you want to enter the position? You have to accumulate your position on its way down and your stop loss should be slightly below $19.31. In this case, you will have a rather good position with the tight stop loss and you will be able to catch next leg to the upside and to have uh, massive profits uh, within several weeks. But if you want to invest in this asset, first of all, do your own due diligence and as usual, accumulate uh, on every daily red candle and uh, NEO has a very good chances to have a good bounce in 2022 to regain all the losses that it has previously. So, I think from the technical standpoint, that's it for now. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye.